Breaking news of Devin Haney and Jojo Diaz have agreed to all of the terms as early as yesterday. However, Jojo still have yet to sign the contract. Here is what Jojo had to say, quote, he wants a rematch clause in there. That's why it's taking so long to get done, but we will give him the beating twice if he won it. I'm making sure this fight happens for the fans. End of the quote. Then Devin Haney responded with, quote, shut up the B word. Stop prolonging Vada. Sign the contract, you got everything you wanted. End of the quote. Now, what doesn't make a whole lot of sense is that Jojo Diaz have already agreed to all of the terms, including the rematch clause. As you all see above, he has no problem fighting Devin Haney again. So why is it taking so long to sign the contract? I mean, if you're looking at the landscape of boxing, Tank and Roley are fighting on the same week as Devin Haney and Jojo where that fight was signed more than two weeks ago. In fact, they already had a press conference. However, Jojo have still yet to sign to this day. What's the ultimate holdup? It can't be the money because Jojo is getting paid more money to fight Devin Haney than he would have had against Ryan Garcia. Jojo is getting paid around 1.8 million to fight Devin Haney since he wanted Golden Boy Cut to be paid for from Devin Haney's end. Therefore, we know it's not the money. We also know it's not the rematch clause either, since Jojo has no problem accepting a rematch clause. He said he will gladly beat Devin Haney twice. Plus, he can't even be surprised about the rematch clause, since Devin Haney is the champion and this counts as a voluntary defense because Jojo wasn't the one that forced this fight with his mandatory position through the WBC. It was Devin Haney that hunted the mandatory and made this fight come to fruition or perhaps I should say, is making this fight come to fruition. Therefore, the million dollar question, what's taking so long for Jojo to sign the contract? The time and energy Jojo took to write this tweet, he should have put that same time and energy to sign the contract instead, especially when you factor in. Jojo already received every single thing he wanted and agreed to it. At this point, when Jojo says, I'm signing the contract, However, he ended up coming back having little things to say. Like Devin Haney said, it does sound like he prolonged Invada drug testing. Think about it. We are nearly a month away and neither fighter have gotten Invada drug tested. This is reminiscent to Canelo versus Kayla Plant when Canelo wanted to fight on Mexican Independence Day in September. They were a month and two weeks away from the fight date where as soon as Kayla Plant raised the concern in order to start Invada drug testing, Canelo Alvarez automatically pulled out so he can clean his system from whatever he was cycling off. With that being stated, we all have to commend Devin Haney for pushing to clean up the sport. I mean, it ain't no secret, boxing is a sport where fighter's life is on the line. Therefore, if you are clean, take the Vada drug test as soon as it's presented. But if not, if a fighter refuses to take Vada drug test or prolonging it, then we know what time it is. It don't take a genius to figure that out. That means so-and-so is on that forbidden fruit or that forbidden juice. Furthermore, I'm not saying Jojo is on anything. All I'm saying is there's a whole lot of suspicious things taking place. First of all, Jojo will respond to anything Devin Haney says. However, the moment Devin Haney told Jojo, stop prolonging Vada, Jojo went as quiet as a church mouse. All of a sudden, Jojo has nothing to say. I was expecting Jojo to say, we can start Vada right now. I don't have to sign the contract to start Vada. Let's start Vada right now. Instead, he disappeared like magic. And I literally mean that. I talked directly with the sources where I was informed Vada reached out to Jojo and his team to no prevail because no one answered. With that being stated, when it comes to Golden Boy, it all seemed like smoke screens from the jump where Devin Haney even dealt with the same situation with Linares. Remember, Devin sent Linares an offer that sat on the desk of Golden Boy for a whole month. During the meantime, would you believe Linares told Devin, you never sent the contract, send me the contract. So Devin Haney ended up calling out Lomachenko. Then finally a month later, Linares ended up signing the contract. However, what was the purpose of denying that he received the offer? Was he planning to prolong Vada drug testing? If he did, he was successful doing it. 
This is becoming a pattern when it comes to Golden Boy fighters. And now Jojo is also doing the same thing. At first, he kept telling Devin Haney, send me the contract, even though Devin already sent him an offer. So he was flat out lying. Even if you want to say he was cherry picking Ryan coming off anxiety. Why not negotiate with both in order to leverage more money? That's exactly what Komei is doing with Lomachenko and Devin Haney. Also, in case Ryan Garcia pulls out, the way Jojo Diaz predicted, unless Ryan Garcia was smokescreened all along in order to prolong Vada drug testing as long as they can. I mean, what does all of this mean? First, Jojo said he want to fight Fortuna, then fight Devin Haney. But after he beat Fortuna, he called out Ryan and Devin Haney. However, he only pursued the Ryan Garcia fight and the Ryan Garcia fight only, who was at the time on an anxiety vacation and never made mention of Jojo. But Jojo pursued Ryan Garcia fight while completely ignoring Devin Haney and the offer he sent to him. For months, Jojo ignored Devin Haney offer. A month or so passed, that's when Ryan pulled out of the Jojo fight due to a hand injury, which is the easiest injury you could fake. That's how we all got here today where we nearly a month away from Devin Haney fight where neither Devin Haney nor Jojo have gotten Vada drug tested. We know Devin Haney is pushing for the Vada drug test. So why isn't Jojo Diaz doing the same? Matter of a fact, forget about enforcing Vada drug testing. Why doesn't Jojo accept the Vada drug testing now? If you are clean, you take the test. This is not a laughing matter. Fighters die in the ring. The only reason a fighter refuses Vada drug testing and prolongs it is if they actually are dirty. For the people that may wonder, here is why certain fighters prolong Vada drug testing. A Vada representative and an expert in this game, Victor Conti said, quote, most in boxing fail to realize that speed and power gains made in training on PEDs can carry over for many months. If testing start on a known date, then a boxer could use for six months, then tap her off and test clean for eight week camp. Still huge benefits to the fighter on fight night. End of the quote. The known date is when the fighter signs the contract. That's when testing could start. Devin Haney was trying to get Vada drug testing months ago. But can we say the same for Jojo? Or is Jojo Diaz trying to join the Oscar Valdez, Canelo, and Martinez club? Like, what's really going on in the sport of boxing? Nevertheless, hate him or love him, you have to respect Devin Haney. Just ask yourself, are your favorite fighters pushing to clean the sport of boxing by requesting for Vada drug testing to be enforced? With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. Contact them at 704-499-3471 and make sure you follow them on Instagram.